you're just in time. We're going to plant carrots. I'm going to show you everything you need to know to be successful growing carrots. Now what's the cardboard for? Well, you lay out your cardboard and that tells you how long your row can be. How's that you say? Well, I'm going to show you the easiest way to plant carrots. I heard a feller say, you mean I could have been doing this for the last 40 years? There ain't no way. This is the easiest way to plant carrots. You're going to be amazed. Since we're growing in the deep mulch, first thing you have to do is clear your mulch back down the soil. These are some carrot seeds I saved from a couple years ago. And here's the trick. Well, this is going to have a little trash in it, but it still has good seeds. There. I sprinkled it on. Patted it in. Good soil contact. This soil is good and loose. And those ought to go down pretty far. The trick with your carrots is they have to stay damp until they've germinated. So what we just planted, if you can call that planting, we just threw those on top and patted them down. I'm gonna go ahead and put in some half longs. I'm gonna do the same thing though. I'm still gonna plant these very heavy. We can always thin them out. But here's something I know. Critters are around and I'm gonna share some of these whether I want to or not. Like I said, the most important thing with carrots is they need to stay moist until they germinate. So even though this soil is good and moist, we're going to go ahead and give them a nice little drink. Then, I'm going to set the cardboard down on them. Look at that, that's perfect length. I'm gonna wet the cardboard a little bit. Cause I like to wet the cardboard. Then I'm gonna deploy my first line of defense. The flaps go out past where the seeds are. I'm gonna put a little snail bait. First year I planted, I had a beautiful line of carrots come up. Snails came through, mowed them down one row. And this is iron phosphate, and those are both elements that you're going to find in the ground anyhow. So it's safe. It's safe around the animals. And then our next trick, this is kind of important. You want to go ahead and cover those flaps down a little bit. If you get any wind and it blows your cardboard away, and your carrots dry out, you're not going to be happy with the results. Just do that down both sides. That's the other beauty of having the deep mulch. You got plenty of mulch to use as covering or whatnot. And for the next couple days, come out, put some water on top of the cardboard. I'd wait three or four days before I even looked underneath. But when you start looking underneath, the minute you start seeing them sprout, get that cardboard off of there. And like I heard said, you mean I could have been doing this for the last 40 years? There ain't no way. <laughs> Now that we got more carrots in, Riley and I want to plant something else. I bet you can't guess what it is. Look at the potatoes, they're doing really well. Oh, good boy. Come on, come on. Well, let's go ahead and plant. Come on, let's go ahead, come on, let's go ahead and plant. One of Riley's most favorite things besides carrots are iceberg radishes. These are kind of fun and they come up real fast. He thinks we need more green in the garden. So let's get a few of these in. Then I'm gonna go ahead and plant a few more beans. You knew up here close to the front, it had to be something short. Just like everything else, we pull the mulch back and I'm just gonna put these right down the center. Nice soil contact. We're gonna add a little mulch over here. Riley says the weather forecast says we're gonna get a downpour all day tomorrow. I'm fine with that right there. We do like these Royal Burgundy bush beans. So I got a few in my hand. They don't get too big. Although I'll get in trouble by planting them this close, I'm sure. I'm just gonna put them on the soil. Kind of poke them down in there a little bit. They got good soil contact. We'll put a little bit of mulch on them. And we're good to go. We're ready for the rain. 
Riley, it's going to be a couple days before they're ready to eat. But we can sit here and watch them if you like. If you'd like to see more Riley, leave a comment down below. You can do this too. Riley really wants to get the other melons and the summer squash in the ground. It's still just a little early. Our nights are down in the 40s. We want to let it get just a little warmer, but the garden is filling out nicely. Hey Riley, what are we going to plant tomorrow? Well, it's going to be raining. We probably aren't going to plant too much of anything. But leave a comment down below. Guess what we're going to plant next? I hope you're planting along with me. This is what makes it fun. It really is. Until next time, remember, take care of yourself, take care of your family, and God bless you. Come on, let's plant. Let's go plant garden.